Hi, um, welcome to my very first pregnancy vlog. Um, when I was pregnant with my first kid, Bodhi, I loved these so much. Um, there was something about just the raw honesty of a woman explaining about all the peaks and valleys with pregnancy and um, I became addicted to them and I used to watch them all the time and um, it was like I had a community of people going through the journey with me and it was really amazing. So I decided to do pregnancy vlogs. Um, so right now I am seven plus three uh, weeks, really out of breath. <laughs> because there's been like my number one symptom is um, out of breath. I'll do a belly shot at the end, but right now um, I'll just show you in my clothes. Like, like I legit look way more pregnant than seven weeks. Um, and I think it's just because it is the second baby. So um, this is my first one and... I'm really excited. We've been trying to get pregnant for a while. Um, my doctors kept saying that I needed to stop breastfeeding because I was still breastfeeding on demand. And um, the month that we we cut down breastfeeding, I'm still breastfeeding at night time, but I don't breastfeed at all during the day. Um, I got pregnant. So it was amazing uh, just seeing the lines on the pregnancy test. I was in Belize. My husband was shooting a film there. And... I peed on the stick and there were these really cheap like one dollar sticks but I knew that a line meant a line was a line and I knew that it meant positive even though it was really really faint and I have I'll actually grab it I'll show you what it looks like I mean it's so crazy faint and tiny um, Okay, so you see this, it all kind of rubbed off and like smudged and stuff. And I was like, oh, I can still see it now a little bit, but it was the first one. And I was like, am I pregnant? Like, or is this just some dodgy thing? And then sure enough, I did the like 12 DPO, I'm pregnant. And then I did 14 DPO, I'm pregnant. And finally, after about two weeks of peeing on pregnancy tests. I was like, I think I'm really pregnant. Um, and I went in for my scan, my five week scan. And I was really nervous. Um, and so then this is what I had at five weeks, a little sack. And then at six weeks, I had the one there. And then um, this week at seven weeks, we went back. Um, it was just amazing uh, to see the heartbeat and to hear the heartbeat. It was going really fast and healthy and everything looked great. And it was just such a relief. And so now I'm wrapping my head around the idea of being a mum at a two and they're going to be about uh, two years, nine and a half months apart, which is great. I think I was getting so anxious about getting pregnant because of this age gap thing. And I thought that the smaller the age gap, the better. And um, it just didn't turn out the way I anticipated it would. And I'm really happy because now at two years and two months, my son is still so dependent on me and we get to have this beautiful bond together and I don't have to be sharing my time with a newborn. So... For me and our family, I think it was exactly what we needed. Um, okay, so symptoms-wise, I haven't really had that much. Oh, in the first week, like weeks four to, four to five, um, I would have these kind of like stretching pains. I'll show you where I would have them kind of at the base here, um, almost like I had pulled a muscle at the gym. And it was kind of like intense and annoying. Um, but it was good. Like I, I felt reassured knowing that 
it, it felt different from when I haven't been pregnant. And so that was a cool sensation and cool feeling. Um, I also feel full all the time. I don't have, I don't really have hunger the way I used to. And the same thing happened to me with my first pregnancy. Like food, food wouldn't satisfy me really. I would like eat food, but I could take it or leave it. And with this one, I'm not really feeling hungry. I'm just kind of more making myself eat. I've had a couple of nauseous days, which were more, had more nauseous days than last time. And um, they just like, it just feels a little bit like a mild hangover. And it's like, comes and goes. It's not particular to the morning. It's just in and out. Um, my starting weight was 114 pounds. And my current weight is almost 117 pounds, which is so funny because, again, with my first pregnancy, I wasn't putting on weight as rapidly. But right now, I mean, my pants are so tight. I have a full-on belly. You know when at nighttime, if you go to sleep and you're like kind of bloated from the day's food, I usually wake up with a flat tummy again, but that doesn't happen. So I wake up and I still have like quite a bulge there, which is actually really sweet um so other things to report I'm crazy tired like I'm just super tired all the time um and it's just a different pregnancy because <clears throat> last time I didn't have a toddler to run after and I'm with my son from the moment we wake up at 6 a.m until he goes to bed at 7 30 and it's just it's just so much harder because you are constantly on and engaging and being present. And um, sometimes I just feel like checking out. And like this afternoon, I put Peppa Pig on for half an hour and had a half hour nap. Um, but my husband's been great. He's been letting me try and get in some little naps here and there. And so that's been really nice. Um, just been feeling a little bit woozy. And... Gosh, what else? The out of breath thing is intense. Like I feel out of breath the majority of the time. Like we have in our stair in our house a lot, quite a lot of stairs, and um, it's really challenging for me to go from my uh, from my like rumpus room up to this room, up to the bedroom, up to the next room, and then up to the next room. It's just like really taxing for me. Um, what else? Haven't really had any cravings. I, I didn't really have cravings in my first in my first um, pregnancy either. I'm getting off foods quite quickly. Like I was eating this particular avocado salad every single day, and then suddenly I feel quite repulsed by it. Um, I've been eating some sushi. Okay, so I have eaten some sushi. I craved it. I checked in with my doctor. He was like, all right, you, if you're craving it, you can have it if it's from a high quality place. That was just, please don't listen to that advice. That was just what he told me. Um, so I did that and now I'm, I'm just getting really excited. I'm actually not birthing in America. So it's going to be my first birth in Australia. And in Australia, they offer uh, such a great thing, which is you can have a hospital birth, but within the hospital birth is a floor that's just purely midwives. And um, so I'll have a midwife and I can have a water birth in a hospital setting, which is actually my ideal scenario. Um, and they don't offer that here in California. So I am due December the 6th and I am really excited I'm really so excited we're gonna be in Adelaide I'm gonna have my birth in Adelaide we're going down there we're spending Christmas there and one of my best friends who actually is the manager of your Zen life is getting married Cassandra and I'm her maid of honor so we're like you know what we're gonna do everything in Australia we're gonna give birth in Australia um, and we'll do the wedding and then I'll come back here to LA but I'm excited. Right now we're still breastfeeding at night time, co-sleeping. So I think we're going to work on transitioning Bodhi out of the family bed and into his own little bed. 
So hopefully we'll be able to do that before the baby comes. Um, and it would also be really nice to have my bed back with my husband before we end up just putting another baby back in the bed. Um, so yeah, I feel really good. I'm so blessed. I truly am so blessed. Oh, and I'm just so happy to be pregnant again. I love it so much. Um, I just cannot believe I'm showing and it's unbelievable. So this is the seven week recap. Um, not feeling anything. Oh, the only thing that's different from six weeks is a little bit more what they call morning sickness, but mine is kind of sporadic during the day. Had a little bit more of that. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to do a belly shot now. Okay. All right. Okay. So here's the belly shot. It's intense. <laughs> um, okay. This is from the front and this is from the side. So I think it's pretty significant for seven and a half weeks. I mean, I did not look anything like this with my first pregnancy. So it's, uh, <laughs> it is my big belly with my big baby. Um, all right. So that's it. And I look forward to doing the next one soon. Okay. Bye.